So I want to point out what this p-value means here. And actually, JASP has given you quite a gift, and all stats packages will do this nowadays. What this p-value is saying is if I have a 4.733, what are the chances I got that value or higher um, in Gossett's t-table? So let's take this number, 4.733, and look at it uh, in the t-table itself, and so we could kind of see what I'm talking about. So if we were looking at this picture, remember we had the um, degrees of freedom was seven, so we had the rejection region of 2.365. So if I have 2.365 here, notice that my 4.733 would be in the rejection region, right? Now let's say that I had lowered my alpha from 5% to 1%. That's a half a percent on either side. So if I had lowered my alpha to 1%, my rejection region would be 3.499. So that means I would have a 3.499 here and a negative 3.499 here. It makes sense why that number would be so large because it's moving this shaded region further out into the tail because it's only a half a percent on this side and a half a percent on that side. Whereas when it was 5%, it was two and a half percent on either side. So if we had a 3.499, do you see how that 4.733 would still be in the rejection region? Even if I lowered my alpha to 1%, I would still have it be in the rejection region. Well, let's say I lower my alpha even smaller to 0 0.001, so that's a 0.1%. I would need to have a rejection region of 5.408. So that means this number will be 5.408 and this number will be negative 5.408. Do you see how 4.733 would now no longer be in the rejection region? So I can't lower alpha as small as 0 0.001 and have it still be in the rejection region, but I could have lowered it to 0 0.01 and it was still in the rejection region. That's far more impressive. And so what JASP is telling you, and let's go back to JASP real quick. What JASP is telling you is, hey, I have a, a table in my system and I can look up exactly the number you could lower alpha to and still reject the null. So you could lower alpha as small as 0 0.002. 0 0.001 was too small, but 0 0.002, it was just small enough to where you can still reject the null. And so that's pretty cool. What they are basically doing is looking up this T value and looking in the C column and seeing what's the chance of getting the score or higher and then reporting that probability here. If this number is less than 0.05, then that means that we have a number, our alpha is less than the 5% cutoff that we have set. So anytime this number is less than 0.05, we know we're gonna reject the null. And that's because, and I'm gonna go back to our picture one last time. If 4.733 is in the rejection region, then that means that the chances of getting a 4.733 and higher, if it's less than 5%, then inherently we know it's in the 5% shaded region. So that's really cool. That probability, we can look at it really quickly. As a statistician, when I run numbers, my eyes go really right to that p-value so I can see whether I'm rejecting the null or not. I know anything less than 0.05, I'm gonna reject the null. Anything greater than 0.05, I'm gonna to fail to reject the null because I now know exactly where that picture where that P, P, um, the T critical would be, sorry, I'm messing up. Now I know exactly where that calculated T would be in my picture because I know the probability of getting that score or higher.